guys good morning I just got back from taking the kids to school I'm not feeling so good today um, my tummy kind of hurts I'm like having some stomach pains I've got a really bad headache <clears throat> and I've got an itchy throat so I don't know really what's going on again it could very well be um, allergies I don't think it's a cold but I'm definitely not feeling a hundred percent today at all so I did go in my pajamas and I'm trying to get my coat off um, I did go in my pajamas today it's rainy and it's cold so I could hide in a coat and it wasn't a big deal Ethan's bags um, I go at the Halloween clearance and I buy a whole bunch of these goodie bags for like 20 cents <laughs> and I just use them the following year but um, again, he's got a Halloween goodie bag. The tag says hip hip hooray. It was Ethan's birthday. Oh, this is how my day is going to go. I was trying to find a light to show you guys the goodie bag. And I bumped my coffee. Spilled said coffee on my desk. On my paper. On the hip hip hooray tag. Yep, that's just going to be my day. All right, I'm going to clean this up, and then I'll try to show you those bags. And I grabbed a whole bunch of these punch balloons. Um, they're three for a dollar at Dollar Tree. I don't know if you can get them cheaper anywhere else. But that was just the closest place to me that carried these, so I went ahead and just grabbed them there. We put one of those in there. We put a creepy pencil in there a Halloween eraser, and then candy. We are allowed to send in nuts and peanut butter at our school, and Ethan's class does not have any allergies whatsoever, so this is okay to send in his class. So we send in Reese's Pumpkins, Snickers, and then Ethan wanted the um, orange Kit Kats. My boys finally figured out what they want to do for Halloween, and this year we decided to make our costumes. A lot of the years we end up just going and buying our costumes and then the kids just use it as um, dress up clothes you know throughout the next couple of years but this year they could not for the life of them decide what they wanted to be. Ethan went between a headless horseman, um, a Minecraft character, a zombie, and Darth Vader. I nixed the Darth Vader idea because he cannot wear a mask with his glasses and I don't know about you but anytime my kids wear masks, they end up coming off and being left in the car anyway. So, I personally don't like the mask idea, and we try to avoid it as much as possible. And then Seth, he wanted to be everything under the sun. A robot, he wanted to be a <laughs> ninja, a superhero, like everything under the sun this kid wanted to be. So... We sat down, we started talking about what would they want to be, and this is kind of what we came up with. Ethan is going to be a zombie, if you cannot tell. These are old clothes that had holes in them. Because my son is rough on his clothes, they get holes in them, like, left and right. So I'm constantly replacing his clothes. So I took a pair that I was going to throw out anyway, and we just covered it in red food coloring and red acrylic paint mixed with a little bit of um, blue and brown in there and we kind of just did our own thing. I wiped my hands on it like I was grabbing his leg. You see a couple handprints here of me just like where I like grabbed onto his leg and pulled and then over here is a handprint where like you know a zombie grabbed his ankle or whatever. So that's kind of what we do with the pants. Same thing with the shirt. A lot of food coloring um, that we used. Again, more hand prints and just cuts and things. <laughs> the back, you can see it kind of got a little bit too purple because the kids made their own little mixture. But the front, the front looks good. <laughs> then I picked up this gory gash that I'm going to put on him. Um, it comes with the liquid latex and the bloody, like, scab scabby gross drippy blood I'm gonna do that and then I also picked up this white makeup just to kind of blend things and then I have um, black makeup that I can kind of put over that I'm gonna use my own makeup palette the other thing that I want to get for him is um, some gauze so we can wrap some gauze around his head and then I need to get some more red I don't know if I'm gonna get red blood or I'm just gonna get more food coloring 
maybe just marker I don't really know but we're gonna make it red to where it looks like he you know bleeding from his head um, and then if I can find in my mind I would love to get like a brain cap so we could have a, you know an exposed brain cap um, or a headband with something attached to it some something I don't really know so those are the things in my mind I'm not finished with Ethan's, Ethan's costume yet so Seth decided on a vending machine he was gonna do robot and then he saw a picture of a vending machine and was like mommy I want to be a vending machine out a box got the hole for his head and his arms and this one fits him perfectly so he can still hold a bucket and move and sit in the car I made sure before I built the whole thing but <laughs> It just says snacks up at the top, push for like the bottom part, our change section, the buttons and coins and dollars. I do want to get fake money and put like a dollar bill hanging out. Um, and we said everything costs a dollar. There's a really bad glare on this. Okay, Let's see if I can turn it so you can still see in there, but not um, get that glare. So inside we just put wrappers of things that we had on hand. This is a uh, cut up gallon bag that I kind of glued on there. Those are old gold bracelets or you can find those at the Dollar Tree. Easy peasy. And then I just glued on the numbers there and it's very easy. This is all I did was I took the flap for the box um, and I cut it off and then I glued it with E6000 um, and I glued it to each side to make that kind of like shelf look. <clears throat> so that is Seth's costume. I want to get the dollar bill and then I think what I'm going to do is get some sort of lighting that I can put in here or use some of my old Halloween lights that just are battery operated and I'm going to kind of glue that in there and turn it on for Halloween so that way people can kind of see in there a little bit better or maybe some glow sticks. I might put some glow sticks in there for the night. Um, but that's the idea is to get some glow sticks for inside of there. That way people can see him coming and you know, they can kind of see in there and see, Oh, it's a vending machine kind of thing. It's time for Seth to come home. I got ready and dressed. I have to go grocery shopping whether I want to or not. Um, and I'd rather go today when it's not raining cause I think it's supposed to rain again tomorrow. And the last thing I want to do is grocery shop in the rain. So I'm just going to go quickly get it done. So I pulled up my winter clothes and I went to put on my boots. I got one boot on and I went to go put on the other one. Actually, I had my foot in my shoe. And then I saw a spider on my shoe. And of course, I freaked out, threw my shoe off. Thankfully, I didn't zip it yet. And I couldn't find the spider because it blended in with my carpet. So finally found the spider. Spider is no longer here, unfortunately. Um, <gasps> oh, spiders are driving me nuts. I've had a lot of them. Like, I've noticed a lot of them this week. So I've sprayed my house again for spiders. I don't know what's going on, why all of a sudden they're coming out. But, yeah. I am now terrified to put my boots on. I need to get a flashlight and I'm going to, like, look in there and make sure there's no babies or spider eggs. <laughs> there it is. There is the spider web. I need to get new boots. I just haven't had the money to do it. I can't drop $100 on new boots right now. Um, priorities. Gotta have those priorities. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to get that spider web off. Thankfully, it's on the outside, so I don't think there should be anything inside of my shoe. But I'm double checking just to be safe because spiders, I don't got time for that when I have to be driving. <laughs> can't be having any accidents because of spiders. Okay, I got my boots on. And I've been moving my feet around a lot, so if there are any spiders in there, hopefully I will know before I leave. I'm sure I would have found out by now. I'm sure they would have, like, been biting at my feet. Um, but yeah, like, big phobia of mine is sitting on a toilet and having a spider jump out, driving and having a spider jump at me, or putting on my shoes and having a spider inside of my shoes. That's like, and it just happened. Thankfully, it wasn't in my shoes, outside of it. I also went through my coupons, and there's a lot of coupons I wanted to use because they're good coupons. We rarely get these coupons. But at the same time, there's no good deals to go with them. So I'm just like, mm, do I want to spend that money? Probably not. I have a lot of the Nivea coupons, but unfortunately they expire next Sunday. And it doesn't look like there's going to be any other amazing deals. So they might just 
have to be left on a shelf for somebody else to use. Let me see. Yeah, we'll get a Lunchable. <laughs> and that's how it goes every day. He takes off. <laughs> Tell us about your day. What'd you do today? Yeah, just did everything. You just did everything? You had to fire your drill, right? Yeah. It was noisy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't anybody tell you happy birthday today? No. Yes. Who told you happy birthday? Your teachers? The people that I told them it was my birthday. Oh, did your teachers tell you happy birthday? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go. My breath stink. Yeah. Yeah, I got to go brush my teeth. It smells like coffee. So, I'm going to brush my teeth because clearly coffee breath is not pleasant. Um, and then we're going to get going. Kids are honest. They are very, very honest. <laughs> All right, we just got done at Aldi and we are now at Walmart. Seth's gonna spend his birthday money and I keep forgetting to hide this rock I painted. <laughs> I hide a whole bunch of these. I painted a Beauty and the Beast rock. I have painted an alien rock. I've painted some of these zombie rocks, but I wanna get this guy hid before Halloween. Cause that's why I hid them. Um, a lot of my rocks don't come back. I never see them again. Some parents will tell me, hey, my kid's kept your rock, which an is alien. awesome. Yeah, I painted an alien and it never came back. Um, which I don't mind if the kids keep I them. It's just know. nice to know that they were found. Um, but that's not the point of the project anyway. So, you know, I figure if I don't see them again, it's because somebody found it, fell in love with it, and that was that. We're running a little late, Seth. We gotta go get your brother. We gotta stop at Walgreens because Seth needed batteries. I thought this thing came with batteries. Um, it doesn't. <laughs> and I've gotta leave here in like two minutes to get Ethan. And of course I don't have a screwdriver for this kiddo. So anyway, I stopped at Walgreens to get batteries. They had buy one, get one free on their brand of batteries. Not the greatest deal, but I'd already left Walmart and Aldi, which I prefer to get my batteries at Aldi. So I just did that deal. Two packs for $4, I guess isn't too bad, but not the best. I'm gonna do a part two Walgreens haul. Back to Ethan's school with like 10 minutes to spare, thankfully, but I did have to park a little ways out. Um, I was gonna film my haul here in the car, but um, I don't think this angle is very good for a haul video. <laughs> so this is gonna have to wait till we get home. And I think what I'm gonna do is this video is gonna go up on Monday and tomorrow for me, I'm gonna put part two Walgreens haul up. So this one's not gonna be next day like I typically like to do. Um, it's gonna be a couple of days. So before I pull all this stuff out, it's gonna be muddy because Right now it's in a Walmart bag because as I was pulling it out of my car, the seam at the bottom of the bag ripped and of course it's been raining nonstop for the past few days and it fell in a puddle of mud. So go me, everything is muddy, sorry. <laughs> but that's just the way that my life is. It's honestly how life goes. I don't think I'm going to be going and doing any couponing next week. What are you doing, Crazy Prince? Um, I have to look at the ads a little bit later and see if I'm going to do any Walgreens shopping next week. What are you doing? <laughs> so you got the key and the bird. Does the bird talk? Yeah. He's been wanting one of these birds for a while. He wanted one with the cage, but he only got $10 to spend today. So maybe Santa will bring the bird in the cage. Would you want another one? Yes. Yes. So we've got to put batteries in it. That's why I picked up the batteries, like I told you guys. But I don't have my screwdriver in here. Usually I keep like a eyeglass screwdriver for our glasses, but it's not in my car. So I don't know really where it went. Um, so I'll have to do that when we get home. But apparently it talks and holds your secrets, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he got the birthday one. What's this one called? Birthday cake. Bye. Yeah, but it, it's, it had a certain name. So he got that one because it was his birthday and he wanted to get the birthday one. Um, but he pointed out a few other birds. Do you want some more? Yes. Yes, you want to ask Santa for some more? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, okay. So anyway, uh, I really have to go to the bathroom too. 
But I'm gonna have to hold it for probably another like 10 to 15 minutes, which is not fun. Not fun at all, Seffy. I got me that. Oh, I don't know. Are you supposed to tell your secrets? Everybody hurt you. <laughs> okay, and while I'm thinking about this, I just did my rebates for Ibotta, and I want to give a shout out to a couple people Stephanie, Peggy, and Brianna. Brianna? Brianna? <laughs> um, thank you guys for using my link to join Ibotta. Ethan is home. You got your homework done, honey? Yeah. All right, let me check it over. So he's home from school. How was school, Ethan? Good. I was on green. Teacher had to clip everyone down to, oh dear. to red. Yeah. Somebody was acting up in class, so. Yeah. When she gets, what is it, five marks on the board, everybody's got to clip down? Yeah. Yep. So. My teacher does. Mom! Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, you. she's having trouble with a couple of the kids in class. Ethan's not one of them. Huh? Yeah. He's not one of them, but it, it happens. Thankfully, the past couple of years, we haven't had issues with Ethan. Um, so, if you followed us when he was in preschool, preschool was rough. <laughs> but he is doing a lot better now. Okay, put this back on the printer so tomorrow we can do the last of it. I need you to look over your vocabulary words for me real quick. And then you need to read your story because you do get tested on that on Friday. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. I just got done filming my Aldi and Walmart haul. I got home an hour ago and I just got done with that. So hopefully you guys appreciate those hauls because they do take some time to film and then put it all away. It takes me a lot longer than I would like it to sometimes, but I do them for you guys because I know you guys love them. And now I'm getting ready to sit down and I am going to film my haul for Walgreens and then I did grab some things at Dollar General but nothing too, too exciting. I'm just gonna show you just in case you wanna go grab some of these smelly good things. And then I have to sit down, read Ethan's story that he's going to get tested on on Friday and go over his vocabulary words that he has a test on on Friday. So that being said, I have dinner. I have homework finished up that I gotta do and I have to make sure he reads. I've gotta finish up my night. So that means this vlog is done. I am going to say goodbye to you guys so I can start my end of the night process. They are being super loud out there. But he's playing. Normally, like, homework gets done right away. Um, but the studying, he needs me to, like, you know, help him with that. So it's not something that he can necessarily do by himself uh, just yet. Still teaching him good study habits. So... That being said, I've got to go, <laughs> and I will see you guys soon in another day in the life video. All right. Bye, guys.